pocket. Amid tremendous protest and controversy, a group of brave Icelanders gathered in secret in a run-down dinner theater to perform a sacred ritual that would make their Viking ancestors proud. I'm Sam Matthews with a few of my new friends. This is Miss Iceland 2013. Vocative was granted exclusive access to the pageant. That may have been because nobody else asked for it. The contest was canceled in 2012, but then new organizers took over, claiming they wanted a more diverse competition. And hundreds of people called their bluff. Me and my boyfriend both signed up. So did some lovely middle-aged women, this horny guy, and feminists. They entered hoping to transform the pageant. It was just a small form of protest. Not all of us are really proud of the fashion shows, you know that. We are proud of um, strong women. But it turns out, the new pageant organizers weren't as into diversity as they claimed. It was quite apparent early on that the rules hadn't changed. I read the rules, like the beauty rules. You cannot be married and you have to be really skinny. And I just think it's really stupid. We hear so often that Icelandic people are extremely proud of the fact that they've got the strongest men and the most beautiful women. If this type of competition disappears, what are Icelandic people going to be proud of? I, I, that's it. You know, we're just going to have to stop being proud. If the girls want to do it, why not? No one's forcing them. If you want to do it, because it can open a lot of doors for you. And I learned, being named Miss Iceland can be a real opportunity. I think it's going to be a great opportunity for me. Wonderful opportunity. Good op opportunity. Great opportunity, fun and good opportunity to compete in Miss World. Iceland has produced three Miss Worlds, which is pretty impressive for a nation with fewer people than Cleveland. What is it that sets these beauties apart? I think it's because of the water. <laughs> Icelandic woman is very good woman because of the Icelandic water. <laughs> I have so good jeans from the Vikings. Miss Iceland is great. Yay! <laughs> Miss Iceland! So ladies, it's all come down to this. 19 women have come, 18 women will leave, but only one will be Miss Iceland. Everybody's a winner to me. As Iceland's most famous pop star Björk once sang, they've just been waiting in a mountain for the right moment. And here that moment comes. Fighting through the crowd of well-wishers, we scored the world's first exclusive interview with the newly crowned Miss Iceland. So now that you've become Miss Iceland, yeah. what do you feel is your responsibility to the Icelandic people? I mean, I'm a full crew of Iceland, so I'm a fair man, and I'm a good heart. That's not so much better than that. But heavy is the head that wears the crown. Sigrun Eva Armand's daughter, who won back in 2011, can't wait to return to life as a civilian. Just another stunningly beautiful, six foot tall, blonde, Icelandic nobody. It feels really good because I've been so long and I was ready like a year ago to give it away, but it never happened. They always like canceled it. From all of us here at Vocative, a very warm congratulations to everyone who participated in Miss Iceland 2013. We hear it's a great opportunity.